This is Johnny with Johnny's BMW DIYs. I'm going to show you how to put a freer flowing cat back exhaust on your BMW E36. In my case, I found one on a parts car, still in good shape. Obviously, the car was painted white while it was on there but it's stainless uh, it appears in, uh, in nice pretty nice shape and the previous owner actually told me it had pretty nice sound to it so I took his word for it uh, got it for a pretty good deal today I'm going to show you how to bolt it up right here you can see that when the exhaust is apart that it has flanges on either side I've already uh, pulled this one off of the front section of exhaust uh, with the catalytic converters and all. I bought the whole section only replacing the cat back on mine um, and uh, it, they simply bolt together and you just tighten them down nicely and I'll show you how I do that under the car. I have the car backed up on jacks um, safe way of doing it I'm going to start the car and we're going to listen to the original exhaust note versus the new one. Okay, there's good point of reference. Don't want to leave it on too long because we're going to be touching this exhaust. So. I'm going to give you a couple minutes to cool down and then I'm going to pull it. I'll be using a jack to support the weight of the muffler. Put the piece of wood on top of it, which I'm kneeling on right now. And a simple socket set. And I'm using a little drill gun. Your first guys you want to tackle are this one. And there's another on this side there. Loosen those clamps up, but first we're going to support the exhaust with the jack. Loosen those guys up, and then we're going to move up front there to loosen the clamps where it clips onto the cat section. Okay, now that I have the exhaust supported, it's always nice to have a few boards around in case your jack doesn't go up high enough. Uh, go ahead and bust these loose. Okay. Now we have the clamps off for the back section. Let's move up to the front. Okay, we're up underneath. Uh, here are the two flanges we have to unbolt. Uh, you may want to put a little penetrating oil on ahead of these, uh, ahead of time on these. Uh, you're going to need an open end wrench. Eye protection. Always wear eye protection when you're underneath the car. And a little 13 millimeter socket with an extension. And uh, unbolt all four of these. Don't have three hands, so use your imagination. Now that I have all the bolts out, I just want to grab a hold and carefully separate it. These guys, you want them to land on a soft surface. Uh, you don't want them to crack. Some of them are ceramic. I'm not sure if this one is. They can crack and you'll have to buy new ones. So just be aware of that. Separate it and lower the jack. Next. It's a good idea to uh, collect your original exhaust hanger clamps and the bolts <clears throat> and any other parts you pull off to put the cat back on uh, in case you decide to put the car back to stock before you sell it someday it's just good to and have I'm just going to lower the exhaust and it should separate all the way hopefully nope did not don't want it to fall too far so jack it back up slightly give it a little wiggle Feels like it's coming apart. 
hanging on this one hanger. Okay, after some jiggling, got it loose, and I'm just gonna lower it on down. All right, I'm gonna have to give it a tug backwards because it's still in one of the pipes. A little heavy just be careful make sure it's not gonna land on anything uh, that you value <laughs> on the uh, aftermarket cat back you can see it has different mounting brackets uh, doesn't have the pinch clamps that the exhaust from the factory has uh, so what's gonna happen is these mounts underneath they have to come off and we'll be mounting those new brackets up to these bolts. Same on the other side. Remove that bracket. Again, put it in your coffee can. Save it if you want. And uh, remove that bolt. We'll be using that bolt to mount up the new exhaust. Okay, I have roughly positioned the exhaust. The uh, bolts are through the hangers in the back. And the exhaust is just fitted onto the catalytic converter section. Uh, now I'm going to put the bolts through the flanges and put some bolts on these up here. There's one looks like it on the other side. Okay I've got both flanges bolted on nice and tight. Tighten each side down evenly so that you have a rather even gap so you have even pressure all the way around. Let's see what it sounds like. exhaust on sounds great and I'm going to take it out for a test drive and see how she feels hopefully it'll uh, feel like I gained a couple horsepower I know I gained a throatier sound thanks for watching Johnny's BMW DIYs please subscribe